Hi guys, welcome to another episode and I uh, hope you guys are doing great. You know, we are still during the pandemic age, right? It's been going on forever. So really hope that you guys are doing well, your, your family and everyone. And uh, so uh, switching, switching back to our topic, uh, we've been talking about real estate a lot. I mean, that's like our niche area in real estate and we are, we're really pushing you guys to invest on real estate. But um, to, to be a real, real, real estate investor, you don't necessarily have to be a realtor, right? Uh, realtor means, you know, you have to have the license and, you know, you have to have some skill set to be a realtor. But you don't necessarily have to be a realtor to be a real estate investor. But there are obvious advantages uh, if you are both a realtor and a real estate investor, just like my friend and I. Uh, well, I've, I've been out of touch for being a realtor because I moved out of the state, but my friend on the other side have been both a realtor and a real estate agent and, and a real estate investor. So we're going to talk about uh, how to be a successful realtor and for, for possibly if time permits, we can talk about how it benefits uh, to, to when you're investing on real estate, uh, you know, how you're going to use that knowledge being a realtor to become a successful real estate investor. So I, I hope I put it in, in the right way, Venkat, so you can correct right. me if I'm wrong, but Flo is out there and I'll chime in whenever it's needed. So uh, it's over to you now. Right, yeah, actually, uh, there are like tons of realtors. You've probably seen like so <laughs> many, there's like a very high-fi realtor and they yeah. do like millions of dollars every year uh, transaction. And there are like uh, some like, I think it's the statistics says like 95, 95% of the realtors fail uh, in first, first year, right? First one or two years. Um, only like 5% of those, less than 5% of the realtors, they, may, they actually make the whole entire transaction, like 80% of the transaction. Uh, happening in the in the market, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so why so? Why why is it, why is that case? Like yeah. most of them actually come for money. Like you know they think that oh it's right after you sell a hundred thousand dollar house you get three thousand yeah. dollar, and uh, it's three percent sometimes more. Uh, but but that's and then they they think uh, they keep calculating in their mind like how about like if I sell a million dollar oh I get thirty thousand yeah. dollar. Uh, like I just need one house uh, or two ho right. three houses a year yeah. or something like that. They just uh, imagining or, you know, just right. dreaming about it. Uh, they're not doing any action, right? Uh, so it's just really, it seems simple, but it's really a hard, hard one until you get it, you get what, what exactly it, it actually entails, right? Yeah. Uh, sometime like, you know, like you have to go knock the door that might work for some realtors. You have to go yeah. door knocking every door. And then, um, but some realtors, they're not comfortable with that. Some neighborhoods are not allowed. <laughs> you cannot go, yeah. uh, you know, trespassing yeah. every houses and uh, people don't like, most of the people don't like that. Um, and, and also sometimes, you know, people think, oh my God, you know, he's knocking at the doors and selling him. So maybe he's not the guy that we should go with. Right. And, but still it's about building relationships. So the, I, th I think one of the best examples that I can give from my experience is like, you can shadow with it, with an experienced realtor, you know, that helped me out a lot when I started off. Uh, you can just uh, be with him just to show houses. You know, you, you might get a small cut of it or you might even get 50% like I did uh, from, from the deal. So best thing is until you gain experience, you build relationships. You know, you go out with experienced realtors and just offer your service to them saying, hey, you know, I don't need anything. So just to get some experience under my belt, let me show them houses. At least, you know, from the time that you open up that, you know, open the door. Uh, and, uh, you know, that's the starting point for all the realtors. So build relationships. Like you said, the, the knocking at the door still work. Right. I'm not saying it doesn't work. You know, some, for some people it works, some people don't. But if you're a person who's not comfortable knocking at the doors and, you know, in a, in a neighborhood where, you know, people would not let you do that, try to shadow. That's, that's one of the uh, points that I wanted to share. Yeah, actually, that's a great, great point. Like I, I was about to say that you need to be in a team, like you need to, at least the yeah. first, first one or two years, uh, you need to join. We were in a team too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You need to join in a team that uh, yeah. somebody who's really knows uh, the, 
area around and also right. knows a lot of people and just tag along with them right yeah. uh, and wherever like there is a gathering happening just go there you need yeah. to be more social oh, yeah. like right you have to be more social right like i was uh, like in the beginning i was not social like you know i don't go or go out to these uh, gatherings right? right but but uh, after becoming a, after becoming a realtor right it's like your duties right you have to go and help others uh, like you know maybe in the beginning you need to keep that thought right you need to help others get right. a deal good deal uh, yeah. if they are a buyer if they are a seller you need to get a good uh, buyer for them uh, right. you know actually good good price for that their house right right so, all those things involved and just to add to your thing about you know getting together you know get to, you know, be a part be, be a part of those gatherings one of the best examples we and i both there when we started off there was this community and uh, realtors were realtors in that company you know uh, uh, kind of be, being invited to that gathering in a in a in an apartment complex and the guy explained to us okay this particular house uh, model is on sale now you know, it has these these facilities, and there were about fifteen to twenty realtors, including me and my friend went. Um, so there was this realtor right away. She posted on her Facebook page, hmm. including everything that he said. You know, this is you know gorgeous house, floors. I mean, the the countertops were granite and this and that. And uh, following day, uh, our big our broker in charge said, "Hey, you know what? Who got that? X X Y Z because they were." like this you know yeah. they they put it up there right away and the apartment complex guys wanted them as their realtor so that's important like I, I just wanted to uh you know pick that point up from what you said like go to go for those gatherings and just gather that information and if you can do something about it right away do it so that's another way of becoming a successful realtor because now you have that good image set up for yourself or for your team and that person who hired you will expand or kind of uh, spread out that good word. So that so because real real estate agent is is all about real building relationships uh, and getting and spread the name around. So that's how you uh, get your name, good name, spread around. <clears throat> oh yeah, that's actually that opens up another point. Another points for me, like. You need to be uh, not only like, you know, you need to be outspoken and help others and try to go and, you know, uh, solve problems for, for everybody. Um, but in addition to that, like you have to know, use technology. Uh, yes. like, yeah. At least this time, right? Like she used uh, the technology right away yeah. from the phone it's and phone, everybody yeah. got a phone and nobody yeah. uses it. Uh, yeah as effective as the right. Secret, right exactly uh, so i think you have to use technology social marketing uh it's it's a huge area right you need to learn yeah. the social uh social media marketing how do social you do that marketing. right I, I know people actually post take somebody else uh, listing and post it in craigslist but mm. put their phone number in there right let's say uh you know million dollar listing somebody has in your in your team but they're very successful but you take their listing and, uh, you know, listing agent, you can put their name listing agent, but you put at the end, if you want more information, just contact me. Uh, I will hook you up to the right, uh, you know, person, right? Something like that with, with the phone number on it. You can, people actually keep posting that every day uh, in Craigslist uh, and they get like those calls out of 10 postings, they get one call, let's say that, right? And then, uh, you know, once you get that call, uh, they don't even attend that call. They actually have a virtual assistant, right? Somebody else has attend for them. Uh, and so if you are really busy, you can hire a virtual assistant from, you know, Philippines or there are some, you know, virtual assistants available, uh, five, $5 an hour or something like that, right? So it's yeah. very cheap. If you get one deal out of in one month, that that will pay uh, more than like, you know, more than enough. So if yeah. you get more deals, like you, you pocket the rest of the money, right? Uh, so it's basically like you, they post it for you in Craigslist and they, and then you get the, um, they get the call and, and then you basically refer that person to that agent. Yeah. Uh, so you get a referral. Uh, you can be a buyer, buyer agent or you just directly refer that. Uh, yeah. And, and about, uh, you know, that again, you know, puts up for another one that, 
you know, but you, you said uh, right at the outset, actually, you said about um, it's not about money, right? You know, people think people try to calculate in their mind, okay, so <laughs> this deal, I'm going to get this one. So what is so the magical, magical advice that was given to me and my friend when we started off was like, money will come. First, help your person, help your customer first. You know, sometimes just because you wanted uh, money, like, you know, cut of this deal, you, you try to force, you know, okay, this is a good deal. This is a good house. You know, it's going to go away real quick and all. What I learned from, uh, you know, my gurus, like including my friend on the other side and the experienced agent with whom I shadow, you have to tell them the truth. If the interest rates are going to go down in, in October or whatever, you actually you should advise them to wait until October, you know. Uh, so that's, that's the best example that I can give, give to you because, uh, you know, then the, the, your client knows that he's not going after money. He's there to help me find the best deal and sometimes what you do is very often i've seen is you you show them both sides of the deal right these are the mm -hmm. pros these are the cons it's up to you to decide but honestly you do your honest research and share them with your client so they can make an educated guess but you never force your client to make a call and uh that's that's actually a point that i wanted to share when you mentioned about that calculating in the head and going after money. So the, another advice to be a successful realtor is don't think about money. First build relationships and tell the client the truth and uh, give them options, give them pros and cons and uh, let them make the call. Yeah, that's uh, again, exactly the right, uh, right addition. Yeah. To this. Uh, and uh, another thing is the open house, as many open house yeah. you can do in the beginning do it right uh, for the other realtors in your in your uh, firm uh, so every weekend you're free like you know just take like every weekend just volunteer volunteer to other realtors that you can help out who are coming to that uh, you know open houses right they will be your buyers uh, like if they're not buying that house you can you can grab them <laughs> yeah you can have like what we usually they advise you to do is like keep a an attendance sheet, right? And, and mm. have them sign or have them drop their business cards or something. So even if they don't buy that particular house, you have their contact details and you can find. So let's say if you're doing the open house with someone else, right? And there, there may be like 20 people coming in and one person buys it. And, but you have like 19 others who could well be 19 potential clients of yours. So, so think about that. And that's how you build your name. That's how you build your connections or, or, you know, and out of that 19, you need only one deal probably. So after that, the name, uh, the, the good name uh, spreads out. So that's another tip. Thank you so much for sharing that. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Another thing is like in the beginning, like you won't be getting deals. Like let's say you're not, you're not going to get maybe for three months, six months, any, yeah. nothing. Uh, you may get it, but you may not get it. Like you, most likely you won't get it. So think about, just keep that in mind, right? So while you're doing that, people are always renting, right? As a realtor, you can actually get the rental commission. Uh, so let's say, um, look, you have like you have a whole lot of database in your hand, mm -hmm. uh, MLS, it's called MLS, right? Yeah. Multiple listing service. Uh, if you go there and you need to take a lot of data related courses there, and uh, you know, you can actually do a lot of analysis and you can look for, uh, you know, all the rental um, uh, in a commission, how much, which neighborhood is actually giving you more commission, which neighbor, which house is actually giving like some other houses, like they give you a thousand dollars just to bring, bringing a buyer because yeah, they right. don't, they're not finding it. They just wanted yeah. to give you that first month rent. Uh, so just find those things. Uh, and then, you know, advertise just, uh, you don't need to disclose anything, right? You just go and advertise in your, you know, Facebook marketplace. I have a house. I have two houses in this neighborhood for rent. Uh, you know, uh, just contact me. People will yeah. contact you and then just yeah. hook them up. Uh, even you can take them up to show the house as a, you know, uh, and uh, once you show the house, you just collect a commission. Uh, yeah. What happens is like, and when, when you have this uh, relationship, like you said, building a relationship, you are like that person who are renting a house might be buying a house in next year. 
All right. So just yeah. keep that uh, uh, in, in mind while you're yeah. bringing a lot of tenants to multiple housings. Let's say you every month you're putting in 10 people uh, into houses, right? Rental houses. Uh, so whole year, like 100 plus uh, people, right? Uh, 100 plus customers. Those customers uh, out of 100, maybe there may be 10 of them will come to you. You will be the realtor next year. Yeah. So yeah. that's another way to make, uh, you know, make connections uh, and uh, a tip to become a good realtor. And be before becoming a realtor, of course, you know, there are, there, are, there are tests that you have to take and, you know, state exam and, uh, and school exam and then state exam and all that. Of course, you know, they're tough exams, but doable. It doesn't depend on how much degrees that you, how many degrees you have. There are engineers who fail real estate exam, but there are people who only have a high school degree pass the exam so it does it has nothing to do with your profession your current profession it's about your commitment and understanding and integrity of uh, real estate work and um, so that's i, I think that's a, this one is last a thing very I good have, discussion I, yeah i ha i just have yeah. one last thing about you know the market yeah. research like as a realtor you need to be on top of the market research what's going mm -hmm. on in the market what's going on in the mortgage industry right what is the yes. current rate and right now it's like uh, it's all going down, uh, like the rates are going down and you need to kind of encourage, you need to disclose this kind of information to the buyers, but not yeah. not like recommend them, but just disclose the information, right? Yeah. Uh, and also the market research and in, in terms of market research, like what is the, it's actually going up. It's a seller's market. Yeah. It's not a buyer's market and, and uh, all those uh, rules and laws involved, everything you need to kind of uh, keep up with uh, the changes. It changes and, every time. Yeah, and, and they may not even ask for those, but if you can provide them, they'll be impressed. <laughs> and uh, so that's how you build your connection and spread the good name again, right? So right, because right. the topic is all about how to become a successful realtor, not a general, you know, not to become a realtor. Become a realtor is just anybody the can do it. Anybody Most can do it. Good. Just pass the exam and just you know, stay there. You know, you're a realtor, <laughs> but, but how do we have a, how do, how to stand out from the pack? You know, that's a good thing. You know, market, do your market research and volunteer to share those uh, details. So that two things, one is that's good for your knowledge and for your future uh, references, right. And, 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 you know, experience. And the second thing is that impresses the client and that is very valuable because then they know that this guy that I'm working with, is, is really honest and really knowledgeable and doing his homework. And then once the deal is done, they're going to spread the word. So that's the other, you know, the, the, the best part is that. <clears throat> right, exactly. I think uh, we will end there um, because it's, uh, we will have another episode about, you know, um, like how, like what's the advantage of being a realtor while you are doing a real estate investment, right? We, we couldn't able to cover yeah, that in this episode. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, thank you so much. If you have if you've been with us uh, this long, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. <laughs> right. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you. Bye.